All right, y'all, we are about to try a brand that is woman-owned, family-owned, four type, four hair type. There's a lot of elements to this that are great. And I'm so happy to say that this Breath of Fresh Air by Urban Hydration line is absolutely key approved. We're gonna talk about why. Hey baby loves, welcome back to the Fiesta. If you're new here, my name is Key Shana Dupuy, and if you're not, <laughs> you're loyal. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell below if you're interested in seeing weekly hair or skin, product reviews, tips, tricks, and advice every Sunday. Ooh. Listen y'all, I've been living my best life lately. I just got a piercing that I've wanted since I was like, 14 but my parents were not playing with me they were not having it so i'm excited but this is the first time i'm about to do my hair with it so i'm a little nervous and we got to make sure we're like cleaning it and being very diligent if you have any tips uh about how y'all maneuver with fresh air piercings when you're doing your hair put your girl on because i want to be safe and avoid infections and all that and this is fresh fresh like three days old anyways Today we are trying the Breath of Fresh Air line by Urban Hydration. I was bad and I purchased this. Another curl box, don't come for me. I know, I keep saying I'm gonna stop. As y'all can see, there's a lot going on that I need to get through. Mind you, all of this has been purchased with my money. No gifted, nothing, this is all me. Actually, I can say 10 of these products were gifted to me. Other than that, Kishana's pocket so I've been bugging it and I really really need to stop however babe, like I said we got the curl box for this breath of fresh air line it just had such great reviews that I wanted to try it so here is the box we got some travel packs right here and we have four full-size products whoop, whoop. I love that they gave us a little sample this is the shampoo conditioner and detangler and the curl and twist styling lotion then in the box our full-size product, the shampoo, conditioner, and detangler, curl and twist styling lotion, and the leave-in conditioner and hair refresher. They all sound really hydrating, but I expect nothing less from the Urban Hydration Company. See what we're talking about? We got our two pamphlets from Curlbox. Look at our beauty of the box. Gorgeous, honey, gorgeous. Here's the inside. Another picture and descriptions of each product. The main reason I wanted to try this though is because it's supposed to be for thicker hair. It's supposed to be, as the top actually says, kinky, coily girls, we see you. It's supposed to be for thicker hair. And if you're new here, let me just tell you, I definitely have a few different textures of my hair, but the back of my hair has been thickening. And a huge blessing, yes, but I don't necessarily know how to style it that much. I don't know how to make my hair last. If it's stressing your girl out, so we're working on it. This might be a little bit of a longer video because I'm going to not only talk about the products, but I am also going to do my hair. However, my hair has been very itchy lately, so I cannot guarantee that I'm going to try the shampoo and conditioner right now. We shall see. We'll read a little bit about it and see how I feel. I may or may not test it, but I'll let you know. By the way, in terms of price, this is why we love and are full-blown stands of Curlbox. The box was $20, they had a discount that day, so I got this box for $16. Reminder, $16 for all it is. All right, but let's, let's learn a little bit. Dare kinky, coily girls, we see you, okay? That's why Urban Hydration created its brand new Breath of Fresh Hair collection. This new line of products was made specifically with your unique hair in mind. Give your tresses lots of love with a range of shampoo, conditioner, leave-in conditioner, detangler, and styling lotion formulated with powerful botanicals and oils that are guaranteed to keep your mane and scalp fortified. Oh, oh, okay, I like the way it sounded. I might try the shampoo and conditioner. Urban Hydration knows the girls aren't fond of sulfates, parabens, silicone, and paraffins. So you won't find these ickies in here. It's all the good stuff your coils and curls need for statement making looks. By the way, it literally says L-E-W-K-S looks. Okay. First up, we have the Urban Hydration Breath of Fresh Air Hair Shampoo. Love the little symbol right here, it's so cute. The quality of packaging is interesting. It's a bit thin, like the actual packaging is thinner. Hey, again, this box was $16, so if 
they get to still give us good packaging while saving a bit on the quality of it i can't be mad at it it's secure that's all we got to worry about it says rest assured that this gentle sulfate free formula was made specifically with kinky coily hair types in mind this brand new formulation is infused with natural plant oils and abstracts from vanilla, avocado oil, sweet almond oil, argan oil, and honey. It's a nourishing blend of plant-based goodness that cleanses and moisturizes while preventing breakage and fortifying the cuticles. Ciao. This sounds very nourishing for the hair. At the bottom it says that it has argan oil, almond oil, avocado oil, vitamin A and E. It is all natural plant based. I, listen, this sounds really nice. By the way, it is safe for natural, relaxed and color treated hair. I love that. Oh shoot, hold on, Urban Hydration. We gonna have to learn a little bit about y'all. I did not know that this is a woman-owned brand. From the packaging, as you can see in the back, it says that this is a woman-owned, minority-owned. We have to support, this is exciting. Um, By the way, it says that this is especially good for type four hair. There's a lot of points going towards this line right now. I'm extra excited to try it, and just for that, I am going to try the shampoo and conditioner. We're gonna try the whole line, because why not? It actually has a little blurb here by the founders. So I want to quickly mention it. So let's learn about Urban Hydration really quickly. A quick little blurb from the founder. It basically says that she has a family of curly-headed folks. Um, her, her husband created the Urban Hydration brand. And then her and her daughter decided to mix some of their favorite ingredients. And from that, th that worked best for their hair. Um, and from that, the Breath of Fresh Hair collection was born. And they have 4C hair, so this line is specifically for the type 4 hair folks, which is really nice. I really do hope that I love it. I just realized that around the little symbol here has a few words that says things like retain moisture, grow and restore, control damage. Scalp care, no sulfates, no parabens, no paraffins, and no dyes. This sounds like a beautiful brand. All right, so we're gonna try this shampoo. We learned a little bit about it. It's meant to gently cleanse, moisturize, prevent breakage, um, and just like, just nourish the heck out of my hair. So we're gonna give it a try. Um, and while we're trying the shampoo, we're also gonna try the Breath of Fresh Air conditioner and detangler. I love that it's a conditioner and detangler, so I have high expectations for you to detangle my hair, love. The pamphlet says, give damage dehydrated hair a boost and take some of the extra work out of styling with this formula that's designed to condition and detangle at the same time. The added aloe vera leaf, oh, I love aloe on my hair. Oh gosh, okay. The added aloe vera leaf acts as a humectant, soothes the scalp, and reduces dandruff. This is exactly what we need right now, because like I said, my scalp has been dry and a little bit of dandruff's been coming. I'm trying to avoid, avoid, avoid. So this is actually a great line for me to be trying right now. But anyways, as I was saying, uh, and reduces dandruff while extra boosts from pro vitamin B5 ginger extract and avocado oil packs a powerful punch, keeping your mane healthy and flake free. I'm incredibly excited to try this shampoo and conditioner. I have some great expectations. So let's break. I'm gonna go wash my hair and then we're gonna come back and try the leave-in conditioner slash hair refresher. And we're gonna also do a twist out with the curl and twist styling lotion. All right, y'all, we have washed our hair and we're feeling good. We're feeling good. So we're gonna jump right into it because I wanna get to style my hair while it is still wet. This side I actually washed as a whole and this side I did in sections and I'm very happy I did that because it changed my opinion of these. To be clear, the shampoo and conditioner is care approved. I do like them. The reason I said I'm happy that I kind of did the process in two different ways is because when I first started it, I did it in this large chunk and I didn't care for it. The shampoo was a lot gentler than I expected. I don't know, gentler is a lot more gentle, I think. I don't know, whatever. It was more gentle than I expected. Um, by the way, it doesn't really 
have a scent and it's it's literally clear it barely lathered and i didn't see any lathering until i started doing it in smaller sections as a whole it was definitely cleansing my hair but incredibly gentle and i just keep saying that because i was kind of shocked at how like just like light it was it was still effective but it was in, like really light it got out the gunk my scalp wasn't irritated in any way it felt really nice like I said, it wasn't much of a fragrance to it. It was just nice and light. It got the job done. I think long-term using this, I'd be able to tell how it works with scalp care. But I actually feel like I can give this to my sister to try on my niece's hair. She's four and her scalp does react quickly to things. But with how gentle and nourishing with all the oils this is, I actually am pretty confident that her scalp probably wouldn't react to it. It wasn't super moisturizing to the point of detangling my hair. That wasn't happening. But when it was cleansing my hair, it definitely had a moisture too. So I'm definitely going to keep using it. And then in terms of the conditioner, again, doesn't have much of a scent. Um, and it is white, you can't really tell. But it is thin enough to get out of this itty bitty hole. The one thing I can say about this is that I used a lot of it. But I was doing a lot of it and not caring for the results when I did it as a whole. The minute I started doing it in sections, instantly I saw a difference and really started to like the conditioner. Once it was soaking wet and I put in some of the conditioner, that is when it started to slightly lather and I could really see my hair reacting to it. The curls were popping out. It was very juicy. It was detangling my hair. I was nervous. Like I was like, this is supposed to be a detangler as well. Like it is not doing anything for me. It was doing the bare minimum for this side of my hair. I was like, okay, like my hair wasn't reacting the way I was assuming it would because it was a detangler and conditioner. But again, once it got on this side, when it was smaller sections and making sure my hair was soaked, oh, my hair was reacting, honey. It was beautiful. I was able to finger detangle. The curls were popping out. It was moisturizing. And I knew my hair really liked it when I had left one of the pieces in for 10 minutes. By the time I got back to it, it had the most beautiful coil all the way to the very end. My ends, if it can be very unruly and frizzy when it wants to be, so I can tell when it's reacting and liking a conditioner and styler by how my ends react it did really well in the end I ended up enjoying the conditioner moya shampoo I don't like that I had to use so much to get a reaction but I do think that if I'm focusing on smaller pieces and and slowly adding it I'll find that I don't need as much as I think I did by the way while we're talking about it I hope you liked and subscribed because you're vibing with your girl you already made it this far you might as well just continue on and because I have low porosity here who is absolutely rude when it comes to absorbing some moisture um, I try my best to remember to apply my leave-in in the shower because when my hair is soaking wet especially after detangling and having good reactions reactions to my shampoo and conditioning the best results in terms of moisture come from applying my leave-in in the shower so I did that I didn't even read about it I just knew that we're gonna try this next so I applied it this is the breath of fresh hair leave-in conditioner and hair refresher really quick in terms of packaging I absolutely love this little mechanism right here it's how you close and lock it let me show you guys this little circle right here, you push it and boom, it's good to go. I have never used a spray bottle like this and I thought it was really cute and convenient. So just a cute little fact about the bottle. It says the dependable hydration that's gentle enough for daily use is the name of the game here. This leave-in spray is the perfect addition to your daily hair maintenance routine because it's a great for when you want to refresh a look or for constant hydration. Apply this spritz to natural, relaxed, or color-treated hair without worries of it weighing your hair down or leaving a greasy film. I do feel like the description describes it more as a refresher than it does for leave-in purposes. Uh, it is key approved and let me tell you why. One, it is super easy to use. I haven't used a spray leave-in in a while. I naturally feel like it's a spray. I start using I start using more of it. But because this had such a 
fine spritz to it. I felt it covering my hair and I didn't feel like I was obligated to use as much of it. It is definitely lightweight, yet you can feel it moisturizing, which was really nice. I like it. It was easy to use, gentle, non-greasy, as it said. Didn't feel like it was making my hair down at all. A little went a long way, and it moisturized my hair. I feel like the conditioner, and then using this right after, the conditioner, when it was washing out, my hair was detangled, and then when I use this leave-in i feel like it helped it stay detangled and softened so the transition between the conditioner to the leave-in was really nice this is how it looks in the twist after doing the wash into the leave-in see this is why you apply leave-in in, in the shower because my hair is already drying which is crazy here look finger detangling nice and easy by the way, first time washing with my piercing went well. Um, these products did not irritate in any way. I was making sure to avoid it, but I cleaned it out just after washing and we're going good so far. I think at this point we could just jump into styling. I definitely don't have as much curls. It's a lot bigger and, and thicker. So in terms of moisture to the point of detangling and curling up my hair, it didn't do that. I definitely would go for other products to do that. But in the end of the day, like I said, I like it. Like it, it, it does just enough of what it's supposed to do. So let's grab a little piece right here and we are going to twist our hair using the curl and twist styling lotion this says get into this mid weight styling potion blended with avocado oil argan oil sweet almond oil and ginger extract massage into parched strands for daily styling and moisture i'm nervous because when things start to say daily styling i feel like you are very clearly telling me that yes you'll moisturize my hair but in terms of like having some definition and hold that's not necessarily what you're gonna do and that's you know that that's totally okay but i'm not a daily styler that's just not my forte so i don't know how much i'm gonna enjoy this styling lotion i'm a bit nervous i'm gonna try it before i decide or react let me you know let's read the directions is apply desired amount to clean wet or dry hair twist finger coil or shingle hair into desired style Shingle hair, interesting. So you're saying you can kind of use this as a wash and go? Interesting. We're definitely doing a twist out because it's called curled and twist. Let's try it. Same kind of no scent scent. White. Here's the consistency. It feels like a thick lotion. Like not a but not a butter, still a lotion. But let's see how the hair reacts. Okay, I could feel that moisture. Interesting that once I started smoothing it in, it the consistency started feeling lighter. I don't know how to explain that. I thought it was gonna feel a bit thicker and take a bit longer to absorb into the hair, but it didn't. I feel like my hair is reacting really well to it. Again, not that kind of like drop into curl look. And it isn't that at all. It's just, you know, more of a we're here to moisturize kind of reaction. I actually think that my hair would react really well with this as a braid out. I'm still going to do a twist out just because that's what I want to do right now. But it's something to keep in mind. Or for you, if you want to try, I think you should go for a braid out. I feel like for my twist, it's going to moisturize, but it's not necessarily going to have that definition that I like. We'll see though. This, this is literally just me chatting. You can see some pieces are curling and having a pretty reaction to it. Like this piece right here. So pretty. Love the coil. But the rest of it. I'm gonna grab my Swiss bottle because I feel like it dried so fast. It might actually give me a bit more curl and moisture absorption if it's wet. So I'm gonna do that. Okay. We have spritz the hell. Definitely absorbing, and you can see more curls. Still not the super juicy curl reaction, but I do feel like it helped a bit. So I'm gonna make sure my hair is at least on the damp side before twisting, so we can give it the best chance, you know? Yeah, even the coil isn't like coiling, coiling the way I'm used to it doing, but the, um, the moisture is there, it's pretty. 
I mean, I don't, this is a bit elongated. I think we can all agree that it's doing what it said it's gonna do. It's not doing more than that. It's exactly what it says. I'm gonna twist my whole head and give my overall reaction. As of right now though, I can say it's key approved. Real quick y'all, I'm a bit nervous cause the bottom of the very first twist we did together is frizzing, which is making me sad. The ones in the back, my hair in the back is a lot thicker. Coil is nice and tight and looks absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I definitely applied a lot more water to these back pieces. So I'm gonna give these a few minutes to see if they start to frizz as well. That just means that I need to add another product on top of it, add another moisturizer. We'll see what ends up happening. So I'm just gonna give it a few minutes before doing anything else. All right, so as you can see, it's reacting a lot better since it had um, more water applied. It was more on the wet side, but I can still see some frizz starting to come in at the ends, and I definitely do not want that. Because of that, I'm gonna go in with this As I Am Classic Twist Defining Cream. It does mix well with this styling lotion, so I'm gonna just mix them. I did test it in this piece, which is now not as frizzy. Lots of water, styling lotion, and the cream, specifically focusing on the ends just to really boost up that moisture. So I'm gonna do one piece right here to show you guys what my little mix is now looking like. Look at the scalp though, just nice and clean. No product build up, no nothing in that scalp. I really like that and again, that moisture, it's like nice and light on the moisture, but it's impactful. Packing in the water and then The lotion, smoothing it into the hair. Look, with the water, I feel like you can see it reacting a lot better on its own. I know that it will still have slight frizz at the end, which is why I'm still gonna use the cream, but instantly compared to the first piece that we tried, more water with the lotion, you'll have a much better result. You can still see that it's gonna frizz a bit, so we grab literally a little dot. We're gonna grab a little dot of the cream just to get it on the ends. And boom, look at that mix together, honey. So there we go, that's the mixture we're going with. I really need it to stay hydrated so I can leave the twist in for again, at least two days. Let me know, do you guys moisturize your twist and braid outs every day or do you kind of just leave it? Look at that, this reaction is a lot better. I, like I actually would rather use the styling lotion almost as a leave-in. Um, add another product on top. This is mixing so beautifully with it. So this as I am twist defining cream and then use this as a refresher. I think that's a combo that could be undefeated because this twist really is looking absolutely gorgeous. Defined and moisturized, yet you can tell it's detangled and softened. I'm happy. So I'm gonna keep going and then we'll look at the overall result. We are done. Look at the beauty that is these juicy twists. Do, 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 do. Look at the coils, look at the coils. This combo did a little something. I love how hydrated my twists are, the shine, the definition that you can see kind of poking through and the coils at the bottom of my twist. I'm actually just really happy with the way this came out. This is about to be my look for the next few days. Just pull it back in my silk scrunchie and boom, out the door. I like it separately. I am probably gonna use it more as like a base before doing a slick bun or just to refresh my hair. I'll use this with the leave-in slash refresher. But as a styler, I really like it combined with a twisting cream, something that's a bit thicker. Um, I feel like it really added that moisture and locked it all in and defined it. It worked really nicely together with these. So I'm gonna continue to use it and incorporate it in different ways. As a whole, this Breath of Fresh Air by Urban Hydration line is absolutely care proofed. I really enjoyed it. The scalp is healthy, no dandruff in sight and really juicy, shiny twist. 
with the coil at the bottom. I'm enjoying it. I'm excited to try this as a refresher for these twists. And I'm really trying to focus on my ends to prevent any breakage because we want our hair to grow, y'all. We are trying to focus on what? Length retention and moisture retention. So doing protective styling and locking in the moisture. But please let me know if you've tried this line before. I'm enjoying it. I am pleasantly surprised by how well it went. Also, if you have a product suggestion or video request, go ahead and comment that below as well because if your idea is selected, you will get a shout out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back soon. Ciao!